And now I'm going to introduce the next speaker, Ben Westwood. Vivian Westwood is a fantastic campaigner for this cause. Ben is a fantastic campaigner for this cause. Please give him a warm welcome. Hello there. Yeah, exactly. My name is Ben Westwood. Unfortunately, my mother Vivian is not here today. She was a close friend to Julian Assange and a long-term campaigner for a free press and against his extradition to the United States for the crime of revealing American war crimes, which included torturing prisoners of war and shooting unarmed civilians. Not to mention revealing that the CIA can spy on you through your TV and smartphones. Julian is a lovely man. I've met him. He's a human being revealing the truth for us all. He is a real hero. Julian has been in Belmarsh Maximum Security Prison for nearly five years now. And he got married to his partner Stella Assange there. But Julian wasn't allowed to be shown in his Vivian Westwood kilt wedding kilt because you could see his painfully thin legs brought about by his treatment which UN Special Rapporteur Nils Mesler has described as torture. Unfortunately this issue is not just about the injustice perpetrated to Julian. This is about our collective democratic right to real facts and truth. In a true democracy the people need unrestricted access to facts and information in order to make informed choices. As Julian has said, the aim of war is not to win it, it's to have a never-ending war. War is a great way to launder the public's money into private hands and to maintain sources of cheap natural resources and cheap human labour for the profit god. Afghanistan and Iraq were great successes for them. And now it's Ukraine, Gaza, and their next project, China. Loads of money rolling in, not to mention for the Western contractors, awarded the contracts to repair the damage caused. The fact that Julian is being charged with the crime of espionage is very telling. During times of war, public information can be restricted. Are we at war? The US has been conducting one war after another continuously since the end of the Second World War. Now they, were try now they are trying to step into our country's law. If this appeal fails, America can disregard the laws of any other countries. Why is our government disregarding our own laws to suit America? What happened to Magna Carta? What happened to Hapius Corpus? Now I feel even more disgusted to be British. What are you doing to our country? A friend of my mother coined an acronym, a pill called NIMSDO, a pacifier used to control the world's populations. It stands for National Idolatry, Non-Stop Distraction, Organised Lying. The mainstream press is controlled and lies by omission and misinformation. They just don't do reports on something that is being hidden, as in Julian's case. When they do report, it has a bias. Now you hardly hear about the war in Ukraine. All the men there with no arms and legs for the rest of their lives. Gaza is just a background story now. All those people buried under the rubble. War journalism is strictly under control these days. No war photographers like Don McCullen allowed to take photos on the front line anymore. They learnt that in Vietnam. The case against Assange is the final end of the pretext that democracy exists. If he is convicted, it is the beginning of darkness for us all. The attack on Julian Assange is also an attack on us. Next time this could be you.